welcome to the world of, of real, real estate. estate. <laughs> Angela. I think I sent you to go. She was a lease client of mine. Yes. So, two years ago? Almost three. Three years ago? Almost. Maybe a couple of years ago, Tangela found us somehow. We helped her lease a home. Now she's ready to buy. So, she gave mommy a ring and she's buying a new build, a new home, or resale. Either or, whichever one's in her budget. Did she come to you? Pre-approved, pre-qualified? Uh, no, she didn't. I sent her to my lender. She got pre-qualified, and here we are. All right. What's our price range? Price range is one seventy to two hundred. That's a big price range. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and what area of Houston are we looking at? We, she wants to be in Humble, so that's where we're headed to. All right. So 170 to 200, which is a pretty good gap in price range in Humble, Texas. So let's go look at some houses, y'all. Forty square feet built in 2005 and it's being sold as is and it's being sold as is okay. needed, needed a little work a little TLC it, it wasn't did. that bad it just... little TLC. it don't look like they've done anything since they moved into that joker no they have not so did Tangela like it she said it's not her number one but she's not gonna take it off the table at this price, the house is selling as is. No price reduction, no seller concessions. You can add it to the price. Yeah, but considering this one that we're gonna see, which is right up the street here in the same neighborhood, is listed at 197. So that um, is really listed below market value right now. Yep. About almost thirty thousand dollars less. Yep. Uh, not almost more. <laughs> yeah, thirty-seven thousand dollars less. Yes. 
even. So it, that house is primed for somebody who sees the potential and wants to go in and um, do, a work. do a little work you to it. Yes. Destination is on your left. All right, we've made it to house number two. Open door. But if you're going FHA, FHA regulations state that you have to have a stove in the house. So they got to put a stove in here if you're using the FHA one or it will be denied. The house is on a nice cul-de-sac, y'all. That's always family and kid friendly. All right, y'all. So we just visited... House number two, asking price. It was originally listed at 207. Yeah. And now asking for 197 for that home. It is 2,685 square feet, built in 2004, with no appliances. <laughs> well, like you say, for FHA, they have to have a stove, so they they have to put a stove in it. Yeah. Okay, guys, we've made it to house number three. This was the model home for the neighborhood. So it's really cute elevation and all of that. But look at this. As soon as you pull into the neighborhood, it's literally like smack dab first house that you look at. I personally wouldn't like that, but hey, it ain't my house. All right, let's go inside and see what they got to offer. $192,050 is the asking price. 
thousand square footage is two thousand fifty nine square feet, built in two thousand eight. Never lived in. It has three four bedrooms. It's really three bedrooms, but that game room area upstairs, he said you could change it, you could close it off and turn it into a fourth bedroom. Well, that's not how it is now. You can't sell it like that. Anyway, so it has three bedrooms, <laughs> a game room, two and a half baths. I personally like the one before, the, this. before this one. The, the master. The, yeah. The master was much bigger. The closet was the master much was bigger. The master was down. Yeah, but she's looking at the secondary bedrooms that the closets were a little smaller. The secondary bedrooms that the other one. Oh. daughter. Let me not say we on camera. Um, the secondary bedrooms over there were much bigger too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the buyer, it's just her and her, her daughter, 10th grade daughter, who's very, very spoiled and needs a, a massive closet. But her I daughter, personally like her Jordans need a home. <laughs> her Jordans, her Jordans need a so, home. So house number three is the only thing that I really didn't like about it was that you pull right into the neighborhood. The location, yeah, it's literally right there. at the front of the neighborhood. At the front of the neighborhood. So, but other than that, house number two is my number one. I would too. Now, house number two was in a color sack, which she wanted. Yeah. yeah. Let's go on to the last house and see what we got. House number four, but the owners are here, which is always weird. So I'm not going to film while they're in their own house, but I'll tell y'all what I think. House number four was, it has a lot of potential. Um, she liked it. Um, it had a covered patio. Um, it was in a color sack. The closet was big. The master bedroom was fairly big. And even the secondary, secondary bedrooms and the closets were to her daughter's liking or she thinks she like it. Um, so she likes it a lot. So the potential of her putting an offer in on that one is pretty good. So what the asking price was? The asking price was 184.9. 184.9. Yes, 184,000. It was actually three bedrooms. Three bedrooms. Oh yeah, three bedrooms. Yeah, it was three actually bedrooms, three two bedrooms baths. There was and two bathrooms. Baths, right? Yes, there was a half bath downstairs. Oh. Okay. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths. Mm -hmm. I don't remember how much square feet it was. But I think it was like 2145 or something like that, if I can remember correctly. Okay. Well, we're going to drive by this last one right now to see what it looks like. We didn't get permission to go in. So we're going to see if she really likes it enough to want to come back out tomorrow <clears throat> and take a look at it. Because I'm ready for her to put an offer on something. So that means we looked at a total of four and a half houses once we don't look at this one <laughs> since we're not actually going on the inside. Right. How many houses have y'all looked at before this? Um, last time we got together, we looked at one. I took her to a new build. Okay. Um, so it hasn't really been that long. That no, not really. Not at. really. Not, it hasn't been a whole lot of looking, and she's ready to to put an offer on something, and I'm ready to write. Because what is she? What is her lease end at her rental right now? Um, she's on month to month, I think. Oh, okay. So out anytime soon. Yeah. Anytime she wants to. Well, hopefully one of these are it. From your lips to God's ears. Amen. So this is the fifth house that we can't go in because they require a 24 hour notice before you come and look. Even though it doesn't seem like anybody's actually here. Schedule it for maybe about but it's a beautiful home. I love the elevation. The neighborhood is nice and quiet. Alright, are you coming back to see the fifth house tomorrow? <sighs> yes, I am, I am, I am. The life of a real estate agent. <laughs> Whipping the wheel. <laughs> Don't you want to show for me tomorrow? I want to see this house myself. I, <laughs> I might come with you. You want to recap, mother? House number one was ugly. 
wasn't worth the money. House number two had potential. Number two had potential. Then make a U turn on East Falfern Drive. Two and three had potential. Two and three. House number, house number two was the one that had the master, the down. master down, which is my personal preference. Okay. But it ain't my house. You better believe it. <laughs> <laughs> house number three was the one that was a little new. Oh, the, the open door house. The open door. I don't like them companies. Wasn't that house number two? No. Oh, house, oh yeah, that was oh, house yeah, number yeah. two. House number two was the open door. Yeah, house yeah, number okay. three was the. Oh, I just remembered. I forgot again. Um. Oh, the one way we, we, we as soon as you oh, enter yes, the neighborhood, yes, it's just it's right there. Yeah, so see, she yeah. nixed that one. Okay. And then how four was the. So it's only between two and three is what she's considering. Was she? And then this one, right? Because the first one, one wasn't too good. much work. So it's two, four, and this one. She didn't like three. Oh, she didn't like three, right. Mm -hmm. And then four, the one we just left, that mm -hmm. the people were there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to come back tomorrow and see what this one looks like. Yes. All right. All right. Maybe we'll take y'all in the morning to see what this house looks like. Then we'll end the vlog. Yeah, this one is this one is nice. This yeah, one yeah, is, the neighborhood is It's nice. priced like well. It. The neighborhood is nice. It's a newer home. Which this is, I'll give y'all the information on, even though we couldn't see. It is asking price is one eighty five, one hundred eighty five thousand dollars. Square footage is two thousand one hundred forty two square feet. It was built in twenty fifteen. It's three bedrooms, two and a half baths, two story home. Does it have a game room? Uh, it has a family room, bedroom, dining, game room. Yes, game room. Okay. So and a formal. What's the square footage? 2,142 square feet. Okay. The taxes 3.8 in Jesus' name. 3.8 or 3.08? 3.8. 3.8. That's one, a lot four, of damn five. taxes. That's that's a high tax rate. But is, is, it, is it homesteaded? It is homestead. Ooh, snaps. Mm -hmm. Let me tell the people what homestead is. Homestead is when you purchase a home you basically tell the taxing authority that is that this home is your primary living, living space. Mm -hmm. So the taxes on your primary living space is less than if you went out and purchased a investment property, something that you don't live at. So that's what so homestead is. So basically on your, the property that you actually live, sleep, eat, number two in, all that good stuff, you get a discount on yeah, your taxes. taxes yes. Okay, homestead. But you, you can only get your discount at the beginning of the year. If you if she should purchase this home now, anytime between now and December 31st, she can't file her homestead until um, January 2nd, anywhere from January 2nd till March 31st. That's the time period in which you can so file she for your be homestead. Able to file until 2020. To 2020. January 2nd, 2020 is when she, the earliest she could file for her homestead. Okay. And don't ask me if it's like that in every state. I don't know. We live in Texas. Anyways, guys, see y'all in the morning when we come back to house number. All right, y'all. Well, mommy got <laughs> feedback on the fifth house. Oh, yeah. They had multiple offers. It's only been on the market two days. And they've had multiple offers. So basically, if my client wanted it, she would have to put in her highest and best offer. And right now, it's at a 185 price point, and she's not willing to go over that. So there's really no point in going out to look at it. So that's that. So we'll see what she comes up with. But for now, we're going to end the vlog here. I hope y'all enjoyed the house tours. Welcome to the world of, of real, real estate. estate. <laughs> Until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye. For me to call